Well, we released Golf Club One and we weren't expecting this huge, huge community to develop out of it. We thought people were creating golf courses. We've got like uh, two sections of players, really golfers and designers. It's been called the Minecraft of golf in a way. We've now got 150,000 golf courses, the most, most golf courses I think in any game ever. But we found out very early on that it was important to make sure the community was behind you so they could evangelise the product worldwide for us. So hearing from them what they wanted, stuff like uh, societies and ways to do stuff they didn't have to go outside the game to create. I think the concept for societies has always been there in the back of our minds ever since Golf Club won, but the catalyst for that has really been the community. A lot of people in the community went out and created their own websites to create their own sort of societies, and um, talking to the guys that ran them, it was a lot of hard work for them. They shouldn't have to be doing stuff outside the game, so talking to them we said, okay, we can create societies in the game. These are golfing societies that you join, and not only can you join them, but you can run your own society where you're recruiting players, and as you earn money through winnings, you're able to upgrade your clubhouse upgrade your society and start to run bigger tournaments. On a core level, it's, it's that, that feeling of immersion, being able to feel that your progression is going up and the whole game changes, not just your character, but the whole way the game looks as you play because of the clubhouses that you're in. So these clubhouses and societies make up the backbone of the Golf Club 2. One of the most requested things we, ever, we had was career mode. People, people were very, very desperate to be able to hone their skills offline without everything being against their handicap and against other people. One of the most requested features for that was the ability to run your own seasons. Um, so that is really the, the core focus of career mode this time around. So the idea is to constantly challenge yourself in the career mode by upping and upping the AI quality so you can earn more money and then go out and play uh, online against your friends. Our game isn't about the power fantasy of upgrading your character and, and these RPG elements of making your character more powerful. It's more about highlighting the user's progress. It's more outlining the fact that you, you made that milestone yourself. Online competitions now are all centered around societies. With societies, what you actually got is a, a season mode within your society where you can create tournaments throughout a whole season. You can create uh, majors within that, five majors a season, and then these actual people will turn up on the course. You'll see crowds, you'll see TV cameras. And what they are, they're online tournaments against anybody and they're asynchronous. So you can actually compete against anybody at any time. So I can actually play four rounds on a Tuesday and someone else can come and play if they're four rounds on a Thursday. Someone else might actually want to play it over a period of days. But then you can also play live with other people who are actually playing live and you want to. So it's, it's, a, it's a very, very robust system. On top of that, we also have society versus society. You can compete against other golf societies and put money on the line. And as you earn more money, you can upgrade your clubhouse and make your clubhouse more enticing for others to join. The course creator was a huge success for us in, in the Golf Club One, and it was like, how do we actually take that on further, you know? And so we want to make sure that we're providing them with more refined tools, a, a larger breadth of tools to really let their imaginations run wild. Before there was a little bit clunkiness on trying to line up fences and paths and stuff like that. Now we've all got this being able to lay out and uh, make stuff a lot easier. We want people who are creative to be designing golf courses, not people who are good at using tools. Now one of the coolest things is that if players created something really cool in the Golf Club 1, all of that is backwards compatible. They can import that into the Golf Club 2, get the enhanced visuals that they get with the Golf Club 2, and also iterate on it with the new tools and new features to make it even better. So what we've got this time is we've added a, a second element to just the uh, backwards and forward motion. We've also added tempo to there. Adding the tempo will give you the hooks and slices on top of that. It also opens up um, different ball flights we didn't have before. This is really going to give players with the most focus and finesse to outperform the competition. So the Golf Club 2 is going to be a huge leap forward for the genre. We're really excited. We hope you guys are too. And I'm really looking forward to see what our customers can actually make this time uh, and blow our minds with. Thank you.